previously. On Factory Boys Live. Son of a boy! Well, the tunnel you guys see, you morons. <laughs> I'm gonna go and check. I'm gonna go investigate that. <laughs> Three plus two is five. <laughs> so, so wait, wait. You think you heard something, but it might have been a stalactite dripping water. I'm gonna use my. Uh, I'm gonna use a crossbow. Okay. So I'm going to roll for attack. I'm gonna put the d20. Seven. Really. Against these targets that just aren't really moving, kind of sort of goes wide and pings into the ceiling and pings down onto the floor where it yeah. and, and does jack shit. Love it. You really miss after all this time. You had plenty of time to play that right, strategy. Jeff, you are free. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. How is he free? He didn't because do anything. Hypnotize. Oh, you used hypnotize? Yeah. Skills, by the way. Excellent job. Why didn't we just do that? I did, you moron. Why didn't we just... Yeah, moron. Hey, 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 you're still hypnotized. Shut the fuck up. Why did we need to attack? Why did we need to prove that Chuck sucks at aiming? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Even with the dark vision. Oh, I, I started reading about like history. That's going in the deleted scenes. <laughs> no, that's going in the main episode. <laughs> Put that in the red band trailer. Zing! Red band trailer. <laughs> So this is the current setup of battle. Now it's time for the Yon Tees to attack. Sean, what's your AC? My air conditioning your is power class. 15. The Yon T that is right in front of you, Mr. Yon T number one. His name is actually Ted, but no one really likes to talk about it. Can we persuade him not to attack us? His name is Ted. Maybe he likes to talk. No. He gives Ted no, talks. No, 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 he cannot. He's had his scales singed. He's been hitten in, in the side by one of your scimitars. He's not a happy player. He, so he swings once. He follows up. Now opening, trying to, you know, eat your fucking head. 11 plus 7 is 17. Alright, so I think I'm gonna be nimble trying to get him out of there. Tell me, Halfling, what do your nimble feet see here? <laughs> they see me running out the exits in the hole. <laughs> fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. If, if a tiny reptile person could maybe grapple and grab onto a Yonti, that you might distract them long enough for Jared to, uh... Yeah, Sean. Alright, I say we just leave him for dead and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Oh. Jeff's like, I don't know why I expect anything else. I don't. <laughs> What if I go up to him and be like, Cobble will do what Cobble will want to do? Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, in that case, fireball. <laughs> Great, now my next part is going to have to come across a cave in with a halfling foot sticking out of it. <laughs> and, a ch and a chicken man. <laughs> and a druid and a chicken scene. It says I'm sassy and outspoken. I wonder if I could confuse it with my sassiness. <laughs> Start roleplaying it. Oh, you think you're going to touch him? Nope. He ain't doing nothing. We've already touched him. What are you it. doing? Okay, they touched you. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> they already touched you. <laughs> <all kinds of. laughs> they touched me for nine points. It's a Harvey Weinstein trio of Yonties. <laughs> plus five. Four plus five. Um, nine. nine. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, I'm going to take this off now. I'm not going to do it. Do it. <laughs> But it works surprisingly well. Really? With a nine? They're not intimidating, but they're laughing their asses off. <laughs> Jared, I'll go for, um, I'll attack it again. You're gonna go for an attack, you're not gonna try and save the gnome? Some of the other ones, like the one... Well, the gnome's in, still in trouble. Yeah, yes, he's still right there. Over. Yeah, they I laugh. Arrow missed. You know, I've never had a TP... a TPK before. A TPK? I've never had a TPK. A total party kill. If you guys are my first, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and now, dear viewers, I'm presented with what has to be the hardest decision I've ever made. TPK. Do I follow the dice, which you've told me to do one thing? Kill job. Or do I allow the story to continue? You can see this out of the corner of your eyes. 
something large, covered in brightly polished iron armor, and holding a massive, not quite tower shield, but it's one of those big impressive iron ones, just kind of body blocks, just dashes in front and takes takes the hit with the shield. Alright? Alright. So you grab Jeff, and you ski fucking bad. Let's go find a okay. nice tavern to rest in. Okay, so Feel as you all start to exit that little side crevasse, you hear a loud, booming, slightly Eastern European sounding. <laughs> Sonia? <laughs> Sonia? <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. Okay. Sonia's actually um, nice looking. Yeah. This is coming from a half orc. Oh, okay. Who ah. screams, oh, Jeff. RUN, LITTLE PEOPLE! Oh, okay, so it's Jeff's girlfriend. <laughs> I'm getting a cleric, all right! Ha! Yeah. Ha! I can't deal with these people. Now this is where we look to the guard. Hey, guard. Do you think they have to go to prison, or should they, you know, have someplace comfortable to rest up for the next attempt? Yeah, for our efforts. Oh, good. I trust them. In your downtime, do any of y'all do anything? Wrote some of my memoirs. <laughs> My life is a drugged up, life fixated gold. <laughs> I had fun with a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I took to gambling. Wait, I, I was gonna do an animal gambling? handling check. <laughs> what do you mean an animal fondling check? Uh, 19 plus 3 is 22. <laughs> Actually, I take it back. I didn't take a poetry. I became a motivational speaker and I go around saying, Kobold do what Kobold want to do. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay. How well spoken of you. I mean, Trent. I play some Zelda it's going to sleep the, the rest of the way. There you go. On the car ride home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a survival check uh, with my bear fun. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Four plus five. <laughs> he comes back severely injured. I'm gonna use my stinking cloud to kill the fleas. <laughs> <laughs> Roll damage on yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get a gas mask while you're at it. One. Natural one. Hey, you I took like four hours of meditation. No, 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 you died fondling a bear. <laughs> no, he died. I got Lyme disease. To kill the fleas, and he got fondling a bear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck. <laughs> what kind of chicken are you? So, the loudmouth bard. Heard about your flea-based adventure in uh, bear fondling, <laughs> and has spread it about the town. Oh no! Everybody knows. You know about the chicken oh, man who no. loves fondling bears? Yeah. What about him? He got fleas. So now around the town, you are known fleas. as he needs what was this job. Um, he needs uh, Jim. He needs Jim Bear Fondler. Jim Bear Fondler, <laughs> attorney at law. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I even got a law degree to go along with it. The father, the father at law. I'm going to I'm gonna go I'm gonna go straight to the Supreme Court and say, hey, elf on bear elf on bear action is okay. <laughs> hey, ho, let me fuck that Ursine, yo. <laughs> Ursine! Go oh to fumble my bears God. now. <laughs> Try to just stay in the bathroom. It's not good out here. It's That's not it. good. Just retire from being a guard, we'll be okay. Yeah. If there's a window, you might want to sneak out. Yeah, I'll see you all. 10x. So I'm at plus 31 now. For honor, courage, and bravery, 30 XP. 60 points to Gryffindor. 30 XP. For <laughs> fondling a Hi. <laughs> Wait, hey, stop stealing my ring of voice changing. <laughs> existing in the general area of the fight. Five XP. Just being there. Just being there. Participation award. I have a bear companion now. Wait, he got a participation award for doing immoral acts to a bear. What message does that send? No, 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 no. He got a participation award for trying to hit. And missing. I, I have a bear summon now. Five XP for your participation. Maybe you should have spent better practicing your aim rather than bottling a bear. Maybe you could have used your druid magic, you nerd. Yeah, what kind of druid are you? Come You're on, supposed man. to be the team healer! Yeah. <laughs> Where were you when I needed you three or You're four days? You're so to drag in a you spare know, healer! You were so obsessed with dressing like a chicken and falling a bear, you didn't focus, <laughs> focus on, your, on your role! You know, technically I could strip him of his druid title for abusing nature with that. <laughs>
I don't know if we're ever gonna get anywhere with this. I think, we need, to just, I think we need to just cut our losses. I really do. I really do. Maybe we should do that cave in. Let's go back to the cave. Yeah. cave in. All right, everybody get in the town pool. We'd be getting one less bear fodder off this earth. <laughs> Hey, what me and Rochelle have is special, all right? <laughs> you gotta learn with the yawn team. So, what have we learned tonight? Yeah, what have we learned tonight? I got anything? My character got carried off by a half orc. <laughs> I married a bear. I wrote a book and went on a motivational speech tour. Oh, no, yep, no, I'm not earning much of that family. I gave up on my moronic heroes. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, we hope you had a very good evening, and thank you for joining us on this adventure of D&D. We want to thank Josh Panowski for coming along on this adventure with us. We want to thank Troy of Leviathan Games. We want to thank Troy of Leviathan Games. Uh, and now, with that, I would like to turn it over to Jeff. Jeff, do you have anything to end on this with? I told you last week, it's for somebody else. <laughs> Chuck? That was fucking stupid. There's more. We're making humps and taking dumps. <laughs> <laughs> the charity home story. High school memories. Mm -hmm. All right.